What's going on, everybody? It's Nick Payne with another episode of Face Mask Fantasy. Before I begin, just want to let everybody know our 2021 redraft draft plan is available on our website for the final week leading up to the season. You can go to our page, facemaskpod.com. You enter your email address and you will get a downloadable link to the plan, which is 100% free. I've got player breakdowns, positional breakdowns by tier, guys I'm targeting, guys I think you should consider fading, plenty of information for you to go in, attack your draft, and come away with a solid foundation for any 10 or 12 team league that you play in for the 2021 season. Check it out. Now, on to today's topic. Going to do a quick hitter on Irv Smith and the injury that he suffered. So this is not a season long. This is more for dynasty purposes, but we wanted to make sure here that we talked about this. If you haven't heard, Irv Smith suffered a knee injury. He's out four to five months after undergoing surgery to repair a torn meniscus. It's highly likely that he misses the entire season. So first of all, best wishes to Irv. Hopefully he can come back from this. And after doing a little digging, It looks like this is something that he does, in fact, have a high chance of bouncing back from. In a study published on PubMed, which cites renowned physician Dr. James Andrews as a source, players actually have a good chance to come back to form following meniscus surgery. Now, the study is several years old, five, six years old, but remember, the capabilities of modern medicine move forward. They don't move backward. While age is a factor here, and Irv is 23, so that's good news, The study indicates that of the 77 surgeries performed, about 60% of the athletes return to their previous level of play after about an eight and a half month recovery period. Again, fast forward several years, five, six years, there's a good chance the return to play number has gone slightly up and the recovery period has gone down. Now, here's where it gets a little interesting. According to the study, players who are more likely to rely on their speed, which are often running backs and wide receivers, are less likely to be the players to recover fully. Four times less likely, actually. Players who don't rely on their speed as much, like linemen or, say, tight ends, are more likely to fully return to form. So, from a positional standpoint, the odds look better for Irv to eventually overcome this injury. I am telling you this in the event that you have him rostered in a dynasty league. If you do, just hold him. You're not going to get anything of value for him while he's injured. And again, he's still only 23. He has a chance to have a long career in this league. Tight ends break out later than most positions. And Irv still has a chance to remain high in the pecking order for targets in Minnesota whenever Adam Thielen eventually moves on. So again, this is a long play here. We're playing the long game with Irv because his odds to return to form appear to be good. So again, this is no longer a conversation for season-long leagues. He's hurt. Don't draft him. But if you have him rostered in Dynasty, I think you should absolutely keep him. If you have multiple IR, IR spots, use them. Hang on to Irv, play the long game. He has absolutely a chance to still break out in this league. He'll still only be 24 when the 2022 season starts. In fact, if your future situation at tight end is a little bleak, this might be a decent time to try to buy him for nothing. Just throwing that out there. That's all I got on Irv Smith. What do you guys think? Put your thoughts in the comment section about him below, and we can have a conversation about this. Again, best wishes to Irv in his recovery. Till then, this is Nick Payne with Face Mask Fantasy, producing fantasy content for you each and every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.